Well, we're on to the last bit of ugly, is what I'm calling that. These were uh, somebody's backyard version of frame rail connectors. Now that this car has all new frames and new floors, and it's not exactly running a Hemi, I don't think we need sub floor connectors, or sub frame connectors, I guess they're called. But we're on to what I've been referring to as my last bit of ugly. This was the original torsion bar cross member. That and this frame rail were the only pieces basically under this car that are original to this car and the firewall up there, that section of it. So we got to do a little seam sealing around the uh, four speed tunnel. I got to get all this uh, tar or whatever the heck it is under coating scraped off so we can paint this shiny shiny. That's uh, the goal. And like I said before, weld those floor pans in. And then I'm really just left with some blocking to do. So we're laying on our back, scraping crud. Alrighty, yeah. Saturday morning. Back on the CUDA. We got this uh, ugliness cleaned up pretty good. Got her all degreased. There with the grinder. That's going to be the extent of the uh, removal of the uh, subframe connectors. There's no way that I'll be able to cut that off there and still keep the integrity of that cross member. But if you ever want to add one, it's there. And it's also a good spot to uh, jack it up because uh, these are notorious for when you put a jack under them, cr crushing the frame. So it's a nice jacking point, let's call it. So that's ready to go. I got the uh, floor pan sized up and put in here and drilled out and I got them held down with self tappers right now. I'm gonna, I've cleaned up all the spots I need to weld. We're gonna fire up the welder, get this in and done. And I still need to weld those pieces back in that I cut out. A little bit of welding back in here. I'm sure there's a couple little things, a little brace there I've got to put back in. Same with back here, pegs it to the floor, and that should be about it for the welding, I'm hoping. I need to get the welder put away and start flinging some Bondo. Bring it back. Okay, we're back, on our backs, giving you a shot of the underside here. Lighting's kind of poor, but... The ugly is now gone. Now I'm not going to get too crazy. A lot of seam sealer. I'll be seam sealing everything. Filling all the gaps, all the little cracks and whatnot. I'll have to uh, buy some shares and seam sealer. But other than that, that's all I'm going to be doing. I'll give it a light scuff and then I'll be painting it as soon as the uh, top side's ready. That's what I'll do. Obviously I'll shoot all this. What I've done is I've taken my fancy stand and I've jacked her up in the air so I can roll around under here now. So that makes it easier to make all the ugly look pretty. Make an ugly look pretty for the last 20 years. That's what we do. Get a little punchy. Gotta go. Well, the Bondo she is a flying. We're raging. I guess you'd call it uh, raging. So, anyways, working on the gaps, working on the levelness. We got everything coming together nicely. Filling in the seams. What do they call it? Straightening the curves and flattening the hills. Shouldn't be long now. We'll get this side done. That's all we got to do for this side. I might put a skim just across that, and as well across here. The lower halves are in good shape. We've already done the door, and that's that. So yeah. Well, guys, May seventh. I started this day at about seven thirty this morning, and you've seen my updates and my progress. It's about nine o'clock at night right now. I have stopped to eat. But other than that, I've been out here all day. Very happy with this side of the car, mind you. Door's closing nice. 
I got nice gappage. I got nice linear, whatever you want to call it there. Everything's good. I'm very happy there. All the way around. Same with the front. No complaints. Will be just fine. So I moved on to the other side. Uh, we're just going on kind of a recap for the day what I got done so far. I got those pieces welded in, little cross braces. I need to get some primer on those. I uh, been fiddling with this door some more. I'm still not happy with the way it closes, the way it opens, all that kind of stuff. I've got issues where this part of the door was hitting here, so it was binding. So I'm spacing the hinge out to see if that what helps. I don't believe I've got uh, I don't know if I don't I don't think I have a patch in there I believe that's still original it's shaped originally but either way I only need about an eighth of an inch so I've just put some spacers in there some shims try that for now but it's nine o'clock I'm getting tired the uh, everything is uh, just getting tiresome anyways uh, you know what happens when you get like this. You get punchy. It's hard to make a video. But there's what we've got done so far. Yeah, door's got to come up a little bit. i got to adjust these hinges. Then i got to get on this fender because I haven't really played with the gap on this yet. She's still just hanging there. Anyways, guys, that's it. Uh, Saturday update. I'll try and get out here early tomorrow morning get some more work done for you. But uh, it's looking like Mother's Day gonna be a nice day so we're gonna go flower shopping and fix up the gardens and all those things you do with your mom or my wife in this situation well if we don't see you see ya